We are in a village called Babra in Gujarat, 80 kilometers from the industrial city of Rajkot. These fields, spread over 650 acres, are being utilized for a vast setting of solar panels and wind turbines. Blending two potent energy sources, the plant here is an example of a wind-solar hybrid model with a capacity to generate 400 megawatts of clean renewable energy. Situated close to the Tropic of Cancer as well as the Arabian Sea and with more than 300 sunny days in a year, Gujarat offers the ideal environment for the hybrid system. Why we choose these locations for wind solar hybrid projects? So this region in terms of the elevation, in terms of the radiation is better. So when you compare to other, other uh, district in Gujarat, then we found a better uh, elevation for WTG generation. India currently is the world's third largest producer of renewable energy, deriving 40% of its electricity from non-fossil fuel sources. The immediate goal is to increase this capacity to 50% by 2030. The hybrid model, a system that integrates both solar and wind simultaneously, is largely being positioned as a key player in driving the country's renewable goals. The complementary nature of the system, experts tell us, is its biggest advantage. Solar working its potential through the day, wind continuing to work through the day and night if wind speeds allow it. Dr. Karan Motwani, Associate Professor at Rajasthan's Marwadi University, tells us how the high investment cost of these systems is likely to even out with more and more large private players in the market. They are also uh, developing their infrastructures for this renewable energy sector and they will also adopt uh, their experience in this. So ultimately this large players, they will help to cut off the cost uh, dependency on manufacturing uh, will reduce and they will also create the jobs also and the, a kind of competitions will be created. So definitely this large players are required in order to make the system more affordable. This plant belongs to CleanMax, one of the frontline B2B players in the hybrid sector. About 25% of the company's revenue comes from wind solar energy. So whenever we call it a wind, uh, wind uh, solar hybrid projects, these projects you can categorize on a four different parts. Number one is like uh, wind turbines. Number second, the solar plant. Number third is the pooling substation where wind and solar power is being uh, connected and that power will be step up from 33 kV to 66 kV and again with the common transmission line this power will go to the GSS which would be the uh, government or grid substation we usually call so it will be connected and establish the uh, communication and the uh, power generation with the government's uh, substation so we are ultimately feeding the power to government Through the grid service stations, this energy can be accessed by users through bilateral power purchase agreements. More than 60 commercial and industrial customers across Gujarat currently buy energy from CleanMax. A large plant set up in a remote location also means employment generation for the local community. 26-year-old Vishal Bijwani, an engineer, has been with CleanMax for the last five months. He is among another 200 employees who have been hired from the local community. Indirect, direct, I think that the people who are in the local area are in the local area. We have to say that the project is a project that 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 is a 
હું મારા ઘર આંગણે જોબ કરી શકું પ્લસ હું સાંજે મારા ફેમિલીનું મોડું જોઈ શકું માણસ ટેન્શન ફ્રી થઈ કે ત્રીસ વર્ષ સુધી મારા માટે એક કમાણીનું આ એક ક્લિનમેક્સ મને ઓપોર્ચ્યુનિટી મને આપી એમ The state of Gujarat today stands out as a front runner in wind solar hybrid implementation. Leveraging its natural resources, the state has rolled out an array of incentives for the sector, including 100% exemption on electricity duty for 25 years for projects that were commissioned before March 2023. Your poor uh, key states like Maharashtra Gujarat, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu. This represents majority of the demand from the commercial side or even on the retail side. The states which I mentioned are going to be very, very critical because these are the states which are the top industrial consumption states and we can offer this to technology and help a consumer to go 70-80% green. About one and a half hours away from Barbara, we find ourselves back in Rajkot. Here, Piyo Shivagadia, founder of a local company, has been manufacturing hybrid systems for off-grid locations. My little village is my village. There is a lot of electricity there. But there is no market for solar. And the electricity is going to go to the night. So I was in 2010 in the 10th standard. Then I was made a winter bed in our village. मेरे घर पे लगाया था और वहाँ से हम बिजली रात को भी मिल सके इसलिए विंटर बेड बनाया था और उसी को मैंने बिजनेस बना दिया हमारे जो कस्टमर रहते हैं वो ऐसे एरिया में रहते हैं जहाँ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी है ही नहीं अभी हमारा जो ऑपरेट मॉडल है वो वहाँ पर ज़्यादा लगता है The facility to store energy in batteries or inverters is what makes the hybrid system particularly useful for off-grid locations. Piyush's company has so far set up these systems across 100 schools, forests, tribal zones and coastal areas. A typical system like this would cost about 5 to 6 lakh rupees. Now in India and in the world, there is one option of storage, the battery. So if we have to save power, we have to save the battery. But here, the cost of the battery is more than the cost of the battery. So in the upgrade model, the cost of the battery is more than the cost. सोलर में से जो पावर आएगा डीसी पावर आएगा और विंड में से आ जाएगा एसी पावर आएगा उसको वहाँ से डीसी कन्वर्ट करके यहाँ दोनों डीसी पावर ए डीसी डीबी लगा है वहाँ डीसी पावर आएगा डीसी डीबी में से इन्वर्टर में आएगा और वहाँ से 240 वोट पावर वो के एसी डीबी में जाए वो एमसीबी फ्यूज बॉक्स वगैरह लगा है और वहाँ से जी मीटर में पावर चला जाएगा वहाँ पर आप मीटर में देख सकेंगे टूडे वी आर एट वन ऑफ पीयूष ऑन साइट लोकेशन अंडर गोइंग ट्रायल फेज Piyush's client, Anand Sangparya, is an entrepreneur who has been using hybrid technology for the last two months for his workplace. His monthly power consumption, he tells us, is about 3,000 units. जैसे हमारा ये विंटर बन का मोटर है, वो जैसे ही घूमेगा, वो बिजली बनाएगा। आप यहाँ पर देख सकते हैं, जो ना 600 वोट की लाइट है, मतलब कि 200 वोट का पावर है, नहीं रखा हम चला सकते हैं। Small businesses, however, are likely to take time finding their feet in this sector, while currently it is the established players with the lion's share of the market. Additional factors like finding suitable locations for setup, high battery costs and a complex technology will make hybrid systems for the B2C sector a challenge. But Piyush is optimistic. Now, the government has declared a policy. In the competition, the solar company will also be made in winter. And it is more necessary to do this. There are many people who are preparing for this. मार्केट में अभी एक साल में तो पूरा का पूरा विंटर बैन का जैसे सोलर अभी चल रहा है पूरे इंडिया में वैसे ही विंटर बैन का होगा कंपटीशन तो बहुत रहेगी इसमें इन इंडिया एस ऑफ दिसंबर 2023 
about 1.44 gigawatts of hybrid projects have already been commissioned. Its capacity is expected to reach 9,500 megawatts by 2025. So if looking to the India consumption pattern, the industrial sector is one of the sectors which consume the highest in the energy and second one is the transportation sector. So in industrial sector also, they consume around 40% of the total power generation. So definitely uh, at present scenario, we won't be able to replace the conventional technologies. But integrating this renewable energies along with the conventional technology will help the industrial sector and transportation sectors in order to have sustainable growth of industry sector plus the country. Being a country rich in natural resources that particularly support this transition, how swiftly India is able to leverage its position will be dependent on aggressive policy push, increased investments and growing awareness. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.